If you're new to the channel, I help you learn to be more creative from my lessons in Leathercraft by showing you the best tips, tools, and practices. So, thanks for joining me today. I will be doing a fun little video here on Grant's axe sheath. Let's get into today's content. Welcome back to the workshop here at North Creations. Glad to have you here. Today, what I have planned is I have a collaboration video kind of with a fellow YouTuber friend of mine, the Grant Alexander. You can check his link in the description. He has a little hatchet that he did a video on. I saw it. I said, hey, I want to make a sheath for that out of leather. So send it on over. And he did. So here, pass it over. This thing's really sharp. I wish it had a sheath. Hey, Isaac, can you help? Wow, I think that made it all the way to Alberta. Oh, geez. So, this axe here, little uh, Japanese made, little doodad axe. Grant got this in his uh, dad's garage, I believe. Did a little restoration on it, put a new handle on it here. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be making a little leather sheath for this with a little strap on it. And that'll be today's content. So, let's get into it. Thanks for joining. All right, I'm on. I'm on air. No pattern. This is my pattern. It was, it was plenty to work with here. It's a little extra. We'll trim it down once we sew it down. Get a nice clean edge when you trim it like that. Really what you do is you cut out the one side, use that as your pattern opposite but I still want to get my imprint on the inside of the ax head. Roughly kind of where it needs to go, so. Like that. A strop. You know, when I was growing up here on this bench years ago, 20 years ago plus, and I was watching my dad work on saddles, bags, all kinds of different things. And when he would pull this knife out and he'd pull out this strop or one similar to it and he would do this and I was amazed at how smooth and fast he could do it. But that's practice. Years of practice. realized that I don't need these marks these marks that's fine you'll see what I'm gonna do here I ch ch change I'm changing it part way through okay there's our small side Okay, ignore that. I was thinking ahead there, but that's not right. Uh, what I need is it to be like this. Because I need... Uh, <laughs> I didn't flip this around. Okay, just gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Fast forward in time. Ignore that. Here is what we're gonna do. No messing around. Just gonna mark it real nice and tough here. So I need a strap coming off like this. Okay, don't do that and mark everything before you cut it. <laughs> mark once and cut, not mark three or four times and then cut. Okay. 
Okay. Now, some spacers. I need spacers. Some thick spacery spacers. Now, I, what else do I got? Boom. That's what we're going to use as a spacer. So what I need, one of these marked out. I might need two spacer layers that will be skived down to proper thickness to accommodate the axe head. Okay, cut one of these out. Oh, yeah, that thick skirting leather is, uh, yeah, it's tough. All I need is a piece for right there. There goes the bloody heater again, Northern Alberta. Cold as frig outside, minus 20. That YouTuber's always got to have that heater blaring in the background. We're on the granite marble slab, gravestone. Got our straight knife. Gonna do a little bit of skiving. Man, that leather's tough. Spacers can be glued together. Let that dry until it is tacky. There we go. Nice. Okay, there we go. Set that aside. As for this, okay, wait. I want to do some stamping on these two pieces. So what I have to do is I have to throw them in that rusty bucket of pond water over there. Let them soak to do some stamping. So here's what I'll do. I'll grab these. I'll take them over. Put them right in the bucket. Okay, so I have these pieces that are wet. Actually, they're too wet, but that's okay because they will dry. So I have got my dividers set to the width from the edge to the edge of this, like that. Okay, there we go. I have my marks set out for where I want my stamping to be. I'm gonna choose my stamp, or should I say Grant's stamp. What kind of stamp do you want, Grant? Something, you want a basket stamp, or do you want a weave stamp? So uh, I like to use a blow dryer to get to my uh, desired moisture content sometimes. And it helps speed up the process and it uh, works really well and quick. There, I like that color. I like this moisture, this wetness. Feels good. It's wet and dry at the same time. So, Grant, I picked the stamp we're going to use here. If you can see. Shut up. And there you go. This is the same stamp I used on the guitar strap video. And that, in case anybody was wondering, this is a bag full of lead shot, stitched and glued, sealed shut. It's heavy, stays in place, can hold my piece that I'm working on, where I want it to go, it doesn't wander.
Okay, so here we are after the stamping montage. Pieces are stamped. I have my spacer pre-glued that I glued earlier. So what I'm gonna do now is my favorite part, which is assembly. Best part of the whole project. Got your pieces ready. Let that glue set up, dry off, evaporate, solvents. Okay. All right, this is just the initial mock-up, initial glue, first glue. Fits pretty good. Clicks in there nice. Okay, so it's gonna fit like that. That way it keeps it down. It will never come off like that. All right, so we've got the hole, the hardware. And then we whack it. Uh, time to sew it. All right, here we are on the Union. Uh, we're gonna throw some uh, few stitches in here. So we got it all set up. Let her buck. All right. Just gotta triple back these stitches here. Trim it, oil it, rub and dye it, and it's done. Last step, slather it in oil. All right, well, there you have it. One custom mini hatchet sheath. Easily goes on, easily comes off. Bada boom, bada bing. This has been a fun little project. I had a great time making this little ax head sheath. Custom, chestnut, bridal leather, a little bit of stamping, a little bit of stitching. Some oil soaking in still, coming along real nice. Good, nice handle. This is the Grant Alexander's axe or hatchet. You can check out his channel in the link down below in the description. He's got a YouTube channel doing different wood crafting builds, tool restorations, things like that. So thank you Grant for the opportunity to make you this. It's been a lot of fun. If you're new to this channel, I do all kinds of wacky leather crafting things like this here in the shop. So if you like what I throw down, go down and put a subscribe in and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I put up new videos just like this and I get dye all over myself. It's okay because I'm the leather guy. I do it so you don't have to. All right. Thanks Grant. Here's your axe back. Wow, that was quick. Thanks a lot, Isaac, it looks amazing. Thank you guys for joining me. 